In this Terraform hands-on lab, we are going to play around with Google Cloud SQL MySQL instance. Basically, we'll create a MySQL Cloud SQL My, MySQL instance and we'll connect to Cloud SQL instance and then we'll finally create a database. So you can see I created a folder called SQL and inside this SQL folder, I have a three files, case.json, main.tf and provider.tf. You can see the, the basic Google provider and I have a project and project ID. I have a region and zone and credentials from the service account. So this is uh, all about it for provider.tf. Uh, for every project, we'll use this uh, code. So we can go to main.tf and start uh, our code, creating Cloud SQL database instance. We'll use the Terraform registry page resource blocks. You can see we can go to Terraform registry page and uh, search on SQL and you will see here some documentation. You can see the Google SQL database instance. We'll use this resource block and we'll also use the Google SQL database here. You can see and we'll also use Cloud SQL user to create a user. So without wasting time, let's start. Uh, we can also go to here, uh, Google SQL database on the left side, you can see. And you, when you search a Cloud SQL, you will see the options and you can go to Cloud SQL database and take this code to not to waste a lot of time in this video. So I'm gonna just copy this and go to my main.tf and paste. And you can see that we are now, uh, first we are creating Google SQL database. Uh, actually, we can we can just take this and put it down here below because first we'll create a Google SQL database instance and let's name this instance, for example, MySQL from Terraform and we need to give this name to here as well the name and we are providing the region us central one and database version mysql 8 for database version you can go to the documentation you can go to arguments and here you can see the database version we have mysql with different versions we are using 8 and you can go to other versions, PostgreSQL, uh, other database options. So let's continue. We are also using the settings. Inside settings, we have a tire, which is DB F1 micro. And we are also providing deletion protection to true, but we'll do it for false because uh, it means that uh, we can we can, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's unchecked as far as I know, we can delete the, the SQL instance once it's created. So now after we create a Google SQL database instance uh, resource block, we are creating a Google SQL database, uh, which is my database. Uh, we can also change the name and we are giving the name, my database. And let's say database from TF and here also database from TF and instance Google SQL database instance and instance name here MySQL from Terraform MySQL from Terraform and the name and also uh, we will use the another resource block to create a user let's go to the the, the resource Terraform registry page and you can see we're, we will create a Google SQL user for that um, I'm going to go to the documentation here and you can see here we can take this code and paste it to our main.tf you can see we are creating Google SQL user resource block and we are giving the, the name Let's say my user and we are giving the name, let's say simple DevOps. And we are providing the instance here. I'll change the name. You 
name we don't need the host and we are will provide the, the the password simple devops so i think this is all about it uh, we can go to the terminal here and start writing terraform in it to initialize um, as far as I remember, we need to provide service account uh, role. Uh, let's try it and you will see an error saying that we need to provide uh, the role for Cloud SQL instance to create. And I'm, I'm going to show this error now and then we'll provide the role and then we will apply it again. So let's see. So let's write Terraform. Uh, plan and finally uh, Terraform apply and we'll say yes and now I think it will give an error saying we have an error you can see error failed to create instant MySQL server Google API error the client is not authorized to make this request not authorized so so we need to provide the uh, the role for this. For that, I'm going to go to my Google account and go to the I am an admin and go to service accounts here. And here I have to have to. You can see that the, the service account that I that I use it was. Let's go to the roles. This is, I think, my service, my first service account that I used for Terraform. So I have to go to IAM. And here I have to provide here is you can see that my first service account this is the service account that i use it for my project i'm going to go to edit and here you will see i have to see the rules it's now updating let's click this again and it's it's it, it will show the service account roles but it's slowly a bit yeah you can see the roles Let's click add another role and I think it's Cloud SQL instance admin. Yeah, I have to click this and SQL. I think it's Cloud Cloud SQL. Yeah, Cloud SQL admin, which has a full control of Cloud SQL resources. I'm going to choose this and save it. And we can simply go to here and then run Terraform apply again and click yes. Hopefully it will not give an error. It will create our Cloud SQL MySQL instance. It's now creating. I think it will take a bit of, a bit time. All right, creation of Cloud SQL instance, MySQL instance took about more than 10 minutes, 21 seconds, as you can see here. And see that it says apply is complete, resources three added, zero change, zero destroyed. Now we can go to uh, Google Cloud account and check the MySQL uh, SQL instance. We have to go to navigation menu and we need to go to uh, the databases here serverless storage databases and we have to go to cloud like sql and we need to check our cloud sql my instances and you can see that my sql from terraform is ready you can see the green mark and this is the the old the the previous one that we created using cloud console so this is from the terraform you can see that 
it's the MySQL 8. Also, you can see the public IP address and you can see the instance connection name with the same ID project. And for uh, the high availability for Terraform, it's not enabled. It. You can add it, of course. And you can see the, the GB of storage used. We can go to inside this uh, SQL instance and you can see that we can also connect it using Open Cloud Shell. I'm going to show it now. But before that, let's look at the other options. You can see the connections. And you can also add network. You can see the users, which have a simple DevOps. And we have a databases. And the database that we created is here. You can see my database from TF. It's created is a user. And you can see the backups. You can also create the read replicas here. Uh, it says you cannot create a read replica because point in time recovery is not enabled for this instance. You have to enable it to create a read replica. So we can go here and enable replication. We can go also operations. This is all about a log of operations. Your database instance is currently running and has completed. So let's go to overview. So this is all about it. I think uh, you can go and uh, play around with it. You can also see the other uh, features of the SQL. And thank you very much and see you in the next video.